Good morning, it's Nikki. This is Midlife Adulting and I am here to chat. I have mentioned that there are a lot of irons in the fire for me. Things that I am intent on doing or that I have worked on and I thought I'd give a little update and just kind of talk about how these things are going. We're going to start with the thing that's foremost on my mind and that is the fact that I have not been walking. It was ridiculously hot for a couple of weeks and essentially since the last time I went to the dietitian I haven't been walking. This is actually tied to the dietitian visit sort of I think because I don't know any other reason aside from that extreme heat that we had why I wouldn't have kept up the habit. I believe the reason I didn't keep up the habit is because of something my dietitian said, which is also the reason why I'm not logging my food right now. And that is, the dietitian told me that I didn't need to log every day. Just a couple of times a week would be plenty. Just the more information they had, the better it would be. Which I couldn't understand why she said that. I had been tracking every single day for weeks since we had the class and they said it's a requirement that you log your food. So I had done good and I expected praise and instead I got, you don't have to work so hard. Which in turn, my brain received and processed as you don't need to try. And I stopped tracking my food and I stopped eating as well as I had been eating like I had been, which was trying to follow the diet that they gave with the, you know, carbs below 100 and protein in a certain range and, and fiber in a certain range. And I stopped walking. And so for the 165 mile challenge, I think I've walked maybe 15, 16 miles. It ends in November and October's only half over, but there's no way I can catch up now, especially in the fitness shape I'm in, since I haven't been walking, it doesn't take long for me and my endurance to drop back down. I notice it in the evenings when I've been sitting for a long time. When I stand up, my hips are sort of tight. And so those first few steps are, I, I hate to say it, they're, they're waddles. They're just shorter and, and more difficult. And every time I get up from the sofa and I feel my, my hips being tight and my, the tendons, you know, connecting my calves to my hips or however that works, all those muscles in there, I feel them tight. And I think this is why I need to be walking. I would feel so good if I could go for a walk right now. And even if it is a time of day when I could go for a walk, I don't. So while I'm not calling myself a failure because... I don't need that kind of negative self-talk in my life. I am saying I need to I need to behave differently. I need to work harder. I need to get back on track. And for me, on track means let's try to follow the diet the dietitians gave me as I'm going through this program. Let's try to log your food even if you're not eating healthy stuff and you need to get out for walks, Nikki. And at this point, I need to start back from scratch, which means 30 minutes of walking at whatever speed I I can manage and, and getting however far I can. And it doesn't take long before I warm back up to it, but I just need to get into it. And winter's coming, so at some point it won't be safe because there'll be ice and stuff on the roads, But and I tend to walk in the alleys and the alleys don't get cleaned but it's safer than walking in the street. But on the days that it's just cold and not also slippery, I need to get out there. I need to do it all winter long. I've got the, the clothes to keep me warm, you know? So that's one big thing. Another thing that I've fallen off of track with is any kind of budgeting. So I started this channel, Midlife Adulting, as a way to kind of get myself back in the swing of doing adulting tasks, 
keeping a budget, keeping a house clean, um, tidying and decluttering, um, paying bills on time, negotiating different bills, doing housework, doing work on the house. And I kind of slipped into the budgeting community, which is amazing and welcoming and incredible in ways I did not expect. I've learned a lot, but I also haven't gotten my budget nailed down or done much cash stuffing lately. And I really enjoy watching cash stuffing videos, which is why I was doing them. But I feel like that kind of video is inauthentic for me. I enjoy doing that because I like hoarding money. And as I go on, I kind of feel like, you know what, that's not really the content I want to make. So I haven't been doing budgeting cash stuffing content. And I think I was kind of trying to steer my channel into a different direction. I don't know how that's panning out because I had two videos that had a couple hundred views each or over a hundred views each. And then I did another video that I thought was right along those lines and it got 12 views. Why am I freaking out? I'm not freaking out about it, but why am I anxious about that? I don't know. I just want my channel to reach people and to be successful. And what I'm counting as successful right now is having a thousand subscribers and being able to be monetized. It's not rough, but I'm not getting there at the speed I wanted to get there. And there's no right speed, but I just thought, I thought maybe I could make it happen faster. And the way I decided to try to make it happen faster is by manifesting. So I have a journal and I know this is very woo woo and it's not everybody's cup of tea, but what I have been doing is writing my goals down as if I've already achieved them and talking about how they make me feel and talking about gratitude and all the things that I've learned from scientific sources, from non-scientific sources, from folks who are into that stuff. And of course I haven't seen results in like 10 entries, but also why am I not seeing results? I'm frustrated with that. And I feel a little vulnerable talking about it because I know that feels like, well, I want it. Why don't I have it already? Or I can get something just by wanting it. And no, I know that there's hard work there and I'm trying to put in the work to get videos out weekly. I'm trying to put in the work to put out content that I think is in line with what I want the channel to be. But still, that's another thing. I'm just all over the damn place. Some days I just want to be a vlogging channel and like a lifestyle all about me channel. And then sometimes I want to be a uh, I help you channel. And sometimes I want to be, I just don't know what this channel is supposed to be. The title doesn't help any because I feel like it puts me somewhere where I'm not. Although it's a descriptor as to what my life is like right now at 45. I am adulting. I am in midlife. It's just, I, I'm not whining. I'm not whining. But I wanted to talk about this. So I'm talking about it. What else is going on? that I am falling behind on and or I am playing an awful lot of Minecraft. I am reading some. I'm reading a book by someone who used to work with Rachel Hollis. Someone who used to work with Rachel Hollis wrote a fiction novel and yet it has a lot of ties to what we think could be reality but it's all you know alleged. So I'm enjoying that book but I'm not reading as much as I would like to. I am sitting here thinking about trying to do vlogmas and I'm barely posting a video a week. I am thinking about trying like a 30 day no spend challenge and also thinking how in the world can I keep track of a challenge like that and the video keeping track of the clips that I would need to record for it. I'm just all over the damn place and the inside of my car windshield is greasy. It's not that everything is going badly. Work is going very well. My day job goes goes well. So let's see here. Work is going well. I am being productive. I'm getting things done. I am making some mistakes, some stupid mistakes, but I'm correcting them before it's too late in most circumstances. I had a fabulous six days off of work the other week where I was able to record videos and unbox a vacuum and get some stuff done on a personal project that I not my place to talk about. Uh, I'm doing well. The kids are doing well. My husband's doing pretty well. Yeah, things aren't going badly. There's just things that aren't going the way I want them to go. And I can't seem to force myself to make them go that way, to go the way I want them to go. And anyway, this is where I am. This is kind of a, hey, the sun is coming up and I have natural light and let me just sit in the car for a little bit and record a video 
and do it while I am motivated to edit it. At any rate, I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for pats on the back or, or affirmations or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to share where my head's at because ultimately I do kind of want to make this a channel that's my life. I would like to vlog. I'm just not good at it yet. That might be all I have. I am crazy hungry. I'm going to go eat a bagel with some cream cheese, which I'm sure is entirely too many carbs and yet. Do I care? Apparently not because I'm still thinking of having them even though I know they're full of carbs. I hope everybody, I okay, I would like a different goodbye line. So I'm going to try to purposely not use the one that I've been using to get something else. What could I say? Well, I could say, hey, listen, do your best, try your hardest and it'll all work out in the end. Have a great day. Bye.